Does it ever occur to you that the unity of mankind is not just a concept, but a fundamental reality? A divine truth that we are all brothers and sisters born from the same cosmic womb of the one creator. Consider this, a tale as old as time about a tribe living in the lush valleys of a far-off land. They lived in harmony and peace, sharing the bounties of the land and the love of their creator. But over time they began to divide, to form groups and to create borders. They forgot they were all children of the same creator and began to fight over the land that was meant for all. This division was not the creator's doing, but man's. Now imagine another story of a man living in the heart of a bustling city. He lives in a world filled with skyscrapers and technology, yet he feels alone, disconnected and unhappy. He blames the creator for his misery, for the poverty and illness he sees around him. But the truth is it is not the creator's doing, but man's wrong thinking and living. The Creator, the most radiant one, created nothing but good for his children. The Creator's creation is perfect and good. It is only man's perception that has changed. When man realizes this and aligns his thinking with the Creator's way, he will know that all is good. The Creator's loving light has been available to everything and everyone since the beginning. This light is the energy that fuels life. Without this light, there is nothing. This light is the love gift of the Creator. The more one loves, the more light one is aware of. The more light one is aware of, the closer one is to the awareness of the Creator. The material world is just an experience. Living in the Creator's light is to know His love and all that is available to you. Many have found this love and are living the truth as created by the Creator. Everything in the Creator's creation is worthy of love. When one can love all things and see only good in all things, the blessings of the Creator will come forth. The joy of living in the light and love of the Creator is immense. There are many who do not know what real living, as the Creator intended, is like. Once one has acquired this love and understanding of the Creator's creation, one can reflect this joy of living for all to see. The journey towards the Creator is not an easy one, but it is a journey worth taking. Once the Creator's light has been witnessed, one will never be satisfied with anything but love, good and perfection. So continue seeking. May your road to the Creator grow in love and understanding, and may you always remember that we are all one, connected by the divine thread of the Creator's love. Is there a more potent force in the universe than love? Can the pursuit of material wealth ever truly satisfy the deepest yearnings of the human soul? Picture a world-renowned businessman we'll call him John. John spent his entire life ruthlessly accumulating wealth. He believed that the more money he had, the happier he would be. He stepped on others to climb the ladder of success and created a fortress of wealth around him. But as he sat in his opulent mansion, surrounded by his possessions, he felt a hollow emptiness gnawing at his heart. He had everything money could buy, but he was alone. His relentless pursuit of wealth had cost him his relationships, and he realized that he had lost more than he had gained. On the other hand, consider a humble teacher named Sarah. Sarah lived a simple life, with just enough to meet her needs. She spent her days imparting knowledge and wisdom to her students, nurturing their minds, and encouraging them to become better individuals. Sarah's wealth was not in her bank account, but in the love and respect she received from her students and the community. While John lived in a luxurious mansion, Sarah's home was a small apartment filled with the laughter and love of her students who often visited her. Sarah had less in terms of material wealth, but her life was rich in love and understanding. John's and Sarah's stories illustrate a profound truth. Material wealth, while necessary for physical comfort, does not guarantee happiness or contentment. True wealth lies in love and understanding. It lies in the connections we forge with others in the joy we derive from helping someone, in the peace that comes from understanding and being understood. 
The power of love is truly tremendous. It can conquer all things. It is the only thing that we carry with us when we leave this physical life. The thoughts of love we cultivate and the love we share with our fellow beings are the true measure of our wealth. The world today is in dire need of this understanding. People are placing their faith in material things, not realizing the harm they are causing to themselves. The pursuit of money, wealth and power has led to a world where the few have much and the many have little. But this is not a sustainable or fulfilling way of life. The Creator intended for us to live in love and understanding, to have dominion over all creation, not over each other through wealth and power. The Creator's way is freedom not burden, it is love not fear. In essence, love and understanding are the most potent forces in the universe. They can conquer all things. They are the true wealth that we should seek to accumulate. In a world increasingly driven by materialistic pursuits, let's remember that love and understanding are what truly matter. They are the path to real happiness and contentment. In conclusion, let's strive to live the way of the Creator. Let's choose love and understanding over material wealth. After all, material possessions are transient, but the love of the Creator is infinite. It is the only thing that lasts throughout eternity. Remember the power of love is tremendous. It can conquer all things and it is the only thing that truly matters.